And welcome back to the Battlefield stream, Battlefield 4 stream here at Gamescom 2013 in Cologne, Germany. I'm Alex Mendez, or commonly known as Golden Boy. It's actually Golden Boy. I saw people in the chat put Golden in Space Boy. It's Golden Boy, all one word, lowercase b. You know the deal. And of course, joining with me is this fine individual himself, my good friend, Mr. Corey Dunn. How you doing, buddy? That's Corey with an E. Is, is that what we're getting to? Is yeah, yeah, like yeah, we're doing a like squiggly that. line underneath. Yeah, squiggly <laughs> line. You're the worst. Oh, I love man. picking on you. I know, I know you do. Uh, so, yeah, I just, I just went 13 and 2. I had to quit out of the game, but so, it, but that attack boat, I'm telling you, is just something else. It's just not even fair. Yeah, I, I know. The, the attack boat has, uh, it's been like one of those things that when, when you see it, kind of like played out and in front of you you're like wow this is really good like this is really effective i cannot wait to see some of the best players in battlefield get their hands on that attack boat because it is it's sick i love it it's it's, it's definitely a new component of the game um i remember whenever i was playing battlefield 3 or any of the other versions whenever water was a, a factor it was just a swim simulator at that point i mean yeah. you just spend so much time in the water and you're like well might as well redeploy, probably be better off this way. But whenever I'm playing now, I'm in the water, the dynamic waves and how it's just making an impact. I mean, I, it's, it's funny because you're actually starting to learn. I mean, I've, I'm starting to learn how to really ride the waves because the waves come across the island. So from like the south region to the north region, or if we, uh, I'll, I'll kind of, I'll run through it over the map and kind of explain exactly how the waves kind of move and what their direction is. And so from there, you really learn how to ride with it. And so you're basically staying within the trenches of the wave yeah. the entire time. And so you can, whenever you're ready for that plan of attack, if you're in a battle with another attack boat, which we'll see a lot of like tank on tank gameplay, which you'll see in any other, ba other battlefields, it's very similar uh, whenever you're talking in terms of the attack boat. You're utilizing your corners, you're working your angles. Yeah. It's just really cool to watch and see how that plays. Yeah, because uh, a lot of games that have, uh, you know, boat gameplay, one, one thing that you always see is they're always like on flat, you know, flat water. And it's usually just like, all right, we're going to circle around each other and just kill each other and that's it, well, yeah, right? It's, it's just basically who gets the first shot first. Exactly. And I think that's one of the things that uh, they realized, uh, the, the DICE team, they realized that it can't just be about that because that is not real gameplay. You, Whenever you're talking about tank gameplay, you have your engineers that are right there with you to be able to take control, be able to help you out when needed. You have buildings to be able to get cover fire from. And I'm really adding that trying to figure out how to add that into water gameplay or that naval uh, gameplay really just makes sense on adding that additional dynamic waves having the ability to utilize these islands parasol storm is the perfect uh, use case for those attack boats yeah i couldn't agree more corey but unfortunately guys it's the end of our broadcast this is it for today for today because you know we thought, hey, at E3, we're going to do three days, but at Gamescom, we're doing five, and it's ridiculous, and we have one more day of craziness coming at you, and of course, guys, you can always feel free to reach out to us on social media. I've been answering a crap ton of questions on Reddit, as well as Twitter. Anyone ask me about console Battlefield 4, I've been uh, pretty much responsive in regards to that. And of course, Corey, you can hit him up, consider it underscore done on Twitter as well. You can see our Twitter is down at the bottom there. And if you want to hit us up and ask us a question, we're actually pretty responsive guys. So uh, hopefully you guys do that. But Corey, I'm, I'm excited. We have one more day left and uh, I'm sad because I just want to keep on playing more Battlefield. Yeah, so make sure you send us any type of, of tweets and we'll sit there and look into those details as well. Uh, I, I, one last thing I want to mention before we still got, we still have time. I want to, I want to talk about this real quick is uh, tier reloading. Oh yes, tier and reloading. So this is the last thing. So looting out there, I, I've seen your videos. I appreciate you being um, descriptive in everything that you want to talk about, uh, especially this tier reloading. And so it's, it's, it's been mentioned that it's confirmed. So the weapons that I've used, uh, so for those of you that are questioning what tier reloading is, it's taking the ability, you have your weapon, you shoot your bullets, and then whenever you go to reload and there's another enemy on your backside, you switch to your secondary in the midst of reloading. So you switch to your secondary, start to shoot to that player. Then whenever you go back to your primary weapon, you finish your reload animation, and then you're ready to go. That's yeah. tier reloading. So that's where that terminology comes from. But with that being said, I haven't seen it with any of the weapons. So, for instance, I, I use a lot of recon. Um, I use a lot of resalt. Uh, 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 I apologize. Assault. Yeah. Um, then from there, um, 
all the weapons that I've used so far, I've tried to take advantage of this feature or this, this tier reloading that's been mentioned in the community. And so whenever I'm shooting and I reload, I switch my pistol just to reenact the moment, come back to my primary, I then have to restart my reload and everything. So I'll look into it deeper and deeper. Uh, so, but that doesn't, I'm not saying, I'm not denying that it's ability, yeah. that, that it's there. I just haven't had it happen yet. Yeah, um, when I spoke to Lars about it, he said that it was not something that they were familiar with. So, again, we're going to continue to find out more about that because I know it's something a lot we'll of people have been asking, huh? I will make sure that I answer this question tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, for sure. As, as uh, we have been doing our absolute best all week long to answer all of your questions because there has been a lot of them. Overwhelming at times, but awesome nonetheless. So, uh, Corey, with that said, are you ready to close this one out? Let's close this one out. All right, man. Well, Guys, we are going to see you tomorrow. Same battlefield time, or same battle time, same battle place. Because, you know, battle nouns, battle nouns. Um, but uh, <laughs> we are going to see you guys tomorrow. So do not go anywhere. Play more battlefield action coming at you tomorrow for the last day of Gamescom 2013. For myself and Corey Dunn, we will see you guys tomorrow.